conclude, I want to quote Second Chronicles chapter 10, verse 6. And I want to ask our leaders that you take time and reflect on that scripture. There was once a son to King Solomon, the mighty King Solomon. His name was called uh, Rehoboth, Rehoboam. This man who became a king, he did not really put into consideration the advices, the men and the elders who used to advise his father, King Solomon, when he, during his reign. And the Bible tells us, and I know the bishop who is here will agree with me, that he had to lose half of his territory because alitekwa nyara. And I say that in Swahili. Sometimes at the top is very cold. When you are at the top, you have few friends. When you are at the top, people cannot reach you, and sometimes they will get limited access. At the top, it gets very cold. At the top, not only friends are limited, even family are limited. But at the top, there are gatekeepers, there are counselors, there are advisors, there are people who will be surrounding you. And most of the time, you tend to think and believe what they tell you is the truth. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, do not lose your contacts with people on the ground. Some of these advisors, they have been corrupted and they are preaching what is not true. When the ground demands that we listen to our people and take care of them, there are people who are singing and dancing and misadvising the king. And I know you know who they are. I don't need to mention, but I pray that you don't fall into that pit of listening to people who are too close to you, lest you lose sight that you have voted by these people. Ulijireta mashinani, advisors, hawakukutaftia kiti. Tuko pamoja watu ya Kirinyaga? Gasheri mtashikilia? Na Deputy President mtashikilia?